Hello all of you lovely viewers and welcome back to the Matvid Pro AI YouTube channel. For all of you returning viewers, it is great to see you. And for all of you new viewers, make sure to stick around. And if you are a new viewer, make sure you check out the Discord server. It is slowly becoming a community-driven, vast list of just resources. And the Discord gets better every day. Anyways, you know something weird I noticed? I look like Steve Jobs up there presenting the iPhone. You know what I'm talking about where he wears like like a sweater like this and he's like talking about the touch screen of your iPhone? Man, that guy really would have loved AI, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, in today's video, I'm gonna be covering a website that was very highly requested by you viewers at home and we're gonna find out why. You're gonna be experiencing this website firsthand with me. I've never used it before and everyone really seems to love this website, but I don't get what's so special about it yet, so we're gonna discover that. Alright viewers at home, welcome to Freeway ML. This seems to be an AI art generation website by the looks of it, and there are an absolute ton of these websites out today, I just want to start off by saying that. Let's just go through a quick list of the ones I can name off the top of my head. Open Art, Playground AI, Creative Fabrica CF Spark, Mage.Space, Pollinations, Lexica, Dream Studio, Replicate.com. Yeah, there are probably over a hundred of these AI generation websites out right now. So what does Freeway ML have to do here to convince me that it is worth not only my time, but the time of you viewers at home? Because I only want to bring you guys the best stuff. Let's just try a base generation in here. Click generate. Estimated wait time 15 seconds. That's not very fast, but I wouldn't consider that unreasonable. All right, okay, we got some decent generations of what really looks to be stable diffusion. And just so I'm confident that what we're experiencing right now is stable diffusion, which isn't a bad thing, okay? I know you guys are probably sick of stable diffusion at this point, but hold on. I did the same prompt in Dream Studio, which of course is the best way to just test straight stable diffusion, right? The prompts are not as good. They didn't get as good of results for sure. Like when you compare these results to the results in Freeway, there's a difference for sure in the coherency department, but it still looks to be the same model of stable diffusion. So this might be curated stable diffusion. They've done some work behind the scenes here to increase the coherency of our results, which I definitely love to see. Actually, very accurate generations of the prompt, I will say. Holding a lit torch, Abraham Lincoln, it's all there. I will say, so far, this interface is already putting it ahead of the pack. Easy to use interface, really easy to understand. Easy favorite button, just like the Dolly 2 website. So if I really like these, I can save them over here and go to my saved tab. Snappy, clean UI, makes sense. And there is actually something else that I'm noticing here. If I click on, let's say, this image, for example, things change on this website. You go into this full screen mode. Okay, I see why you guys wanted me to check out this website now. Not only is the actual generation curated in some way to provide better results out of stable diffusion, we've got a few different options here. Create layer. Computing smart AI layers. I don't even know what this is. Okay, so it's now giving us custom layer options. Full image sword. Oh, it, it's detecting this as a sword. Beard. Well, that's not a beard, that's his hair, but it's trying to layer out the image here. That's a hand, definitely got the hand part. I see. Oh, hair. It got the rest of the hair correctly and some of his forehead as well. Blade. Yeah, I mean, it does look like a blade. It's supposed to be a torch instrument. I guess it is an instrument of some form. Weapon. Could be a weapon. Face. Okay, yeah, so it got the face. So we can now only edit this portion of the layer. So there's an auto selection in here if you want to layer your generations like this. I can confirm this now. And now I can do just variations or enhancements or style enhancements on just the face that it discovered with AI. That is definitely something that sets Freeway ML apart from the pack, for sure. I have not seen that before. Very surprising. I can do prompt plus image. This is image to image. Okay, we're not going to try that just yet. Let's try variations. And see if we can get a variation of Abe Lincoln's face now in that little Freeway ML editor we were just in. It definitely did the job, I think. So here was our original. 
and we definitely got some very slight variations of Lincoln's face here, and it seems to have done a pretty good job. I still think the original looks better than any of these other ones, but for Stable Diffusion, this is definitely really, really impressive. I haven't seen that before. And that's just a nice feature to have in general. It might work better on something that might not be the face. It'd probably work a lot better on something like the torch, for example. If you were actually, you know, trying to enhance this image of Abe Lincoln holding a torch and make it better. So, already a huge step in that front for Freeway ML. Let's just try the overall enhancement. Create a variation of this image with more detail. Okay, closer to image, more creative. We'll just do, like, closer to image, I suppose. So, a built-in image enhancer, I'm not exactly sure what this is going to do. I assume it's doing image to image with the previous image. And we definitely actually, I think, got more detail out of this. I mean, Abe Lincoln's hand here, that is pretty horrific. I'm not gonna lie, that's scary. I'm not a fan of that hand. The torch looks way better, though. His suit, I don't know, it looks about the same quality, in my opinion, his face... Maybe a little better in some areas? I don't know. Maybe a little worse in some areas too, though. I think the eyes look better on this one, but the rest of the face looks better on this for sure. So we compare them up close like this. This is definitely a more smoothed out, detailed image overall for sure. I think it definitely did work, which is nice. And of course, variations is just going to be more variations of this entire image. We already know what that is. Good to see it as a feature though here in Freeway ML. Style. Okay. This is where things get really interesting, I think. This is a huge differentiating factor for Freeway ML. The style here. Let's try to apply a funky style to this one. Let's go cinematic. Something pretty basic that a lot of people would use. I'm going to leave it right in the center here and see what happens. And we will click the Generate button. Okay, so I think the images that we're seeing here are definitely in a different style from the original one. They're pretty similar, though, which is something that I could adjust, though, to be fair. We did have the option and the ability to adjust this to be uh, very much different like these two. Very, very similar. It's interesting how they get more different as they go along, though. That's probably just a coincidence. I would consider these more cinematic, though. This is definitely a portrait. I guess I can see a little depth of field in the background. This one's the most cinematic, I guess you could say, out of all of them. But it's interesting to see. It definitely is applying some style to this. I'll go back and let's let's make the style applied cinematic very, very strong and see how different images we get. All right, again, we're looking pretty similar to the other ones, but the images are definitely good nonetheless, especially for Stable Diffusion. I would say that Freeway ML's version of Stable Diffusion, which does seem to be enhanced and tweaked from the regular base version of Stable Diffusion, especially with the styles that they have and a few of the other little things like all of these, by the way, seem to be upscaled. All images, generations, seem to be upscaled. Um, the quality is higher than base Stable Diffusion, and this is 100% one of the best Stable Diffusion generation sites that I have come across in terms of how many features and how easy it is to use. It's right up there with something like Playground AI, for example. So I do want to check out the pricing, because this is kind of the elephant in the room that we haven't discussed about Freeway ML thus far in the video. You've been seeing this whole time during the video, my little credit counter up here has been moving and ticking down slowly as I do more generations. It is important to note though, when you do first sign up, you get 35 free credits. I don't like these credit systems, but we haven't really looked at the plan or whatever yet, so we don't really know exactly what the deal is. Upgrade your plan. Here are the plan options. Okay, actually you get more than 35 images, you have up to 105 images and 35 fast lane credits. So what we're experiencing there earlier were their fast lane credits under 15 second generations. All plans include three images per credit. That's not too bad. Image in painting, which is nice. They're all 1024 by 1024, which again, that's double the resolution you normally get from stable diffusion. So this has upscaling directly correlated and a part of freeway ml which is awesome i love to see that image to image prompts and cloud storage for image generation so your stuff's all saved here on the website really awesome to see so this renews monthly you get 105 images every single month so you do get some free image generation every time per month with freeway ml i would consider that competitive and I would consider their free plan better than a lot of other websites out there. 
There are some websites though that do have free unlimited stable diffusion, although I can say this right now, it's not as good as Freeway MLs. Then they have their standard eight bucks a month. That's pretty cheap. That's cheaper than the cheapest mid journey plan. 750 images. That's a lot more than mid journey will get you. 250 fast lane credits. Pretty good as well. This is cheaper than mid journey. Mid journey is definitely better though. I, I will say that right now. While mid journey might not have stuff like the in painting. Mid journey's model is really, really good. It's definitely a lot better than stable diffusion, but this again, this is a good version of stable diffusion. So this could be worth it if you really like generating in stable diffusion. And they also have a $25 per month big boy plus plan. Unlimited image generations, access to unlimited Q, 750 fast lane credits, and I guess it's more worth it in terms of if you're going to make that many images because you're paying a cent less per credit. Still, 25 bucks a month is a hard sell when mid journey exists. For 30 bucks a month with mid journey, you get a limited generation. And again, like I said, mid journey is a fantastic model. So I think the plus plan is definitely a tough sell, but the standard plan could be worth it if you decide you really like generating with Freeway ML's version of Stable Diffusion like we talked about before. It's, it's a good version of Stable Diffusion, one of the best I've seen. Let's do a little lemon prompt here in the cinematic style. By the way, that's another feature here. You can select your style right off the bat. I'm not exactly sure how the styles work in the back end, but I assume it's just adding tags onto the prompt. All right, these are definitely better than what I would get from base stable diffusion without any extra tweaking. And again, these are all upscaled to 1024 by 1024, and the upscaler does seem to be halfway decent for Freeway ML, which is good to see. This is a interesting little creature of some form. Again, we've got like download button, save button, share button, all the typical stuff you'd like to see from a nice editing interface. So we actually have a zoom out here function as well, which is zoom out outpainting, which is pretty cool. Let's just try this really quick. Let's see if it can do some quick outpainting. All right, we got three results back for that. This is definitely what I would consider some stable diffusion esque out painting where it kind of makes sense as an image. You don't, it doesn't look weird. However, it's not really out painting the image. Like this is kind of cool, I guess, but this isn't, you know, expanding upon where this creature already was necessarily. It's just sort of making a background for it and turning it into an image or something weird like that. So it makes sense, but it's not like Dolly 2's outpainting. If you guys know anything about Dolly 2's outpainting, it's a lot more cohesive. However, I will say this. Runway ML has integrated stable diffusion outpainting that is really, really good. It's like almost as good as Dolly 2's. So I really necessarily wouldn't recommend the outpainting in this, but Runway ML has really good outpainting. The stylized aspect and feature in Freeway here definitely can adjust your creations by quite a lot. I applied Cosmic Cartoon to this one and we got some pretty crazy abstract results, but they're pretty cool nonetheless. I think if you want to start generating with Stable Diffusion and you got eight bucks a month to pick one with, this could definitely be a really good option. I think in terms of the quality of the editor and everything, this is really close to Playground AI. Playground AI might edge it out a little bit in my opinion, but they're both really close. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you liked the video, make sure you leave it a like, check out some of my other videos, and especially check out the Discord for more in terms of free AI, different resources, and access to the latest AI news. It's really all on there. And thank you to everyone on the Discord who suggested I make a video about Freeway ML in the first place. It's definitely a really, really good website for generating and creating AI art, and I think it's worth the viewer's time at home. Thank you so much for watching. I am Matt Vidpro, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.